Wait, what? Run! Taste Jack's Brewhouse Bacon Burger today. New from Jack in the Box. Limited time only at participating restaurants. Well, Brad Sham, we have a new quarterback in for the Cowboys. Tell us what they've won, Don Pardo. They've won Tony Romo and the Eagle fans. Boo Romo as he comes onto the field. <laughs> During the break, it didn't, they didn't even take him getting under center to get booed in Philadelphia. Well, we're sitting here, and I, they, we go to break, and all of a sudden a bunch of booing started out. I'm looking at the big board thinking maybe they showed, I don't know, Jimmy John, whatever it was, and Christy Scales informed us. Listen. Tony Romo's coming into the listen. game. Listen. Oh, that's too funny. From the uh, Dallas uh, 19 for the first time since Thanksgiving. Tony Romo at quarterback for Dallas. And it is Romo in the gun with McFadden to his left. Beasley in the left slot. First snap back to Romo. Pressured. Heaves it deep down the right side for Williams. Overthrew him. And also, fortunately, overthrew Leotis McKelvin. The corner running with him. You do know that... Stephen Jones came out of the uh, Cowboys vice president, came out of the tunnel before the game. He said he just talked to Romo, and Romo was excited about playing, and he said, I'm just going to let it rip. Christy Scales. All the Cowboys fans that are here, there are a lot of them. They're all standing, and anybody who has a cell phone was taking a picture <laughs> as Romo came out and on that first play. But as you can hear behind us, uh, the Eagles fans are also making <laughs> themselves known. I just love that they're booing him, like, so vociferously. Oh, this is great. 3-3 three, three game. Cowboys second and 10 at their own 19. Romo's first series. He's under center. Toss left to McFadden. Got a couple of men pulling, and then someone slicing in behind the pull from the secondary on a run blitz, and McFadden will be thrown for a three-yard loss. That was Bo Allen. Blonde locks flowing. The third-year veteran, former teammate of Travis Fredericks at Wisconsin. And uh, hauling McFadden down from behind, and it's third down and 12. You know anything about this current Wisconsin team, Brad Sham? I, I know a little. I I'll know more tomorrow. Because? I'm looking forward to broadcasting the Cotton Bowl with your old Stanford classmate, Rod Gilmore. The Goodyear Cotton Bowl between Wisconsin and Western Michigan, but that's tomorrow. Right now, it's the Cowboys and the Eagles. 3-3, three, three, third and 12, Dallas. Romo and an empty gun. Two receivers right, two left. Snap back, four-man rush with a twist. Romo heaves it over the middle of the field to Williams. Caught for a first down. Up and around the 33-yard line with outstanding pass protection again. By the way, that's not with Tyron Smith and Ron Leary at left tackle and left guard. That's Emmett Cleary. And Joe Looney. Christy. Boy, I tell you, Jason Garrett didn't like uh, what uh, maybe what the Eagles were showing or what uh, the offense was doing. He ran down uh, to the head linesman and tried to get a timeout, but just too late. The snap got off and ended up being a completion and first down. Thank you, Christy and Brad. That files under the heading, overcome the coaching. There you they, go. They, they knew what they were doing. First and ten. Romo hands it to McFadden. Starts right. Cuts it back left. Downfield block from Butler. He's got a first down and more to the 50. Left sideline to the 42. There's the guy that finished fourth in the league in rushing last year. McFadden <laughs> took two steps to the right, and he said, oh, this was a bad idea. And then he turned and sprinted hard all the way across the field and got 24. Talk about the running backs here, Brad. The last three years, you know, DeMarcus, De DeMarco Murray is over there tearing it up in Tennessee, right? Had a fantastic year. Darren McFadden plugs in last, week, last year, as you mentioned, fourth in the NFL. And now they've got the NFL's leading rusher this year in Zeke Elliott. And the notion that you can just plug in anyone is wrong, but they plugged in three different guys and done very well. <laughs> first and ten at the Eagle 43. Left to right, Romo's first series. Back to throw, sets, looks, stands, dumps it over the middle. McFadden sheds a tackle at the 40, puts his head down and gets a first down to the 32 before Rodney McLeod can get to it. 11 on the pass from Romo to McFadden. You know, I, I'm not... The Romo, I guess he would have played with McFadden in the Thanksgiving game and the, game, the late games in Florida, huh? Because uh, early in the year, before Tony was hurt, it was uh, it was a different running back. First and ten, Romo back to throw. Deep, left side, end zone, incomplete, and the flag is going to be thrown for pass interference on Des Bryant and Nolan Carroll. And it's on Nolan Carroll for clearly, visibly grabbing Des Bryant by the left arm down around the three-yard line, well inside the Sherwin-Williams red zone. And Nolan Carroll, Brad, has been called for five defensive pass interference on the season. That's a lot. He's a holder, grabber. Pass interference, hey. 22, defense. 
Automatic first down. Des got the call, and he is really letting that uh, back judge hear it. You got the call, Des. Yeah. Settle down. <laughs> what, what? What's he complaining about? Well, uh, that he was more I mean, than held. He 29 yard penalty. <laughs> and they got it, though, like, as you said. You take yes for an yeah. answer. All right, the Cowboys in a 3-3 game are first and goal at the three. McFadden, the running back, Romo in the gun. And looking left for a little fade to Williams and a great head nod. Williams caught it. Touchdown. Romo with a touchdown on his first possession of the year. And I will guarantee you, on the, first, on the Academy Sports first touchdown of the game, you could see it. I don't know what they called, but Romo looked up and he looked at Williams and he nodded. And it was as though they said, if you get press coverage, then you go right by the guy, and I'm throwing a fade. Well, and it was actually a little double move out there, too, Brad. Terrence Williams stops like he's going to run that little pitch smoke screen out there, turns as the defender comes towards him. Out he ran. Now, don't know if it was, don't know if it was designed or how they did it. Yeah, it was designed. Because Williams looks up, gets the corner to bite, and all of a sudden we've got our Bank of America extra point. It comes with a 10 minutes and 11 seconds. Remaining to be played in quarter number two, the Cowboys' first lead of the game. Romo's first touchdown pass of the year. Bailey's extra point is good. It is now Dallas 10 and Philadelphia 3. Dallas Cowboys football will continue in a At moment. At Elephant Auto Insurance, we like to reward our customers with more than just peanuts. That's why we're introducing tons of discounts.